Man, well, welcome to Shirley's Temple. We got What's Roy up? Woods in the building. What's up? What's up, Shirley? He had to take his chains out, y'all. I forgot about him. <laughs> I had to flex one time. Man, how are we doing? I'm good. How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm excited to have you on. I feel like you're you this you're the perfect guest. Yeah, I'm gonna we're gonna have some fun today. Right. <laughs> have you have smoked fun. yet? Uh I smoked a little bit. Okay. Yeah, so I'm about to blow high. your mind. What's up? You see this machine right here? Yeah, I've been seeing it from when I walked in. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on over here? This is a joint rolling machine. It's called Bead. Shout out to Gus in the building. Can I, bro? Cause I know you smoke joints. I'm, I could not wait to show you this. That's okay. A fact. So you literally press this button. What? You put the cone in. You put the. Hold up, bro. Right. Right. What's going right, on? <laughs> right. You put the capsule right here. Do you have an espresso machine? It reminds me of that. No, I don't drink espresso. And no. then you press. What the hell? <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. Bro, it what blew my the, mind. How come this stuff exists and I don't that's, know about it? That's <laughs> what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. What's going on? <laughs> Holy. So it, ma it makes the perfect roll joint in 20 seconds. We got a lighter for you. Wow. Right? <laughs> did that not, did that just That was your, amazing. Right? That was amazing. So crazy. Holy. And, you know, it's... <laughs> 20 seconds, eh? Right, because weed is supposed to be an enjoyable experience. So yeah, why yeah. why roll your own when you can just have B do it Shit. for you? Honestly, I'm not mad at it. Right? I'm not mad at and it And the best all. part, we got you your own. Oh! And. You messed up my head. Right. <laughs> literally. Oh, literally. It's lit. Let's break this up. Right. Oh, man, that's lit. That's Thank awesome. you. Of course. So what's cool about this is there's eight half gram capsules in each little tube Ooh. and they are completely sustainable so the, the capsules are recyclable right. um, and it actually keeps the flower 30 to 40 percent fresher as if it compared to as if it was in glass or mylar yeah. so it preserves the terpenes longer oh, that's amazing. it's just lit keeps the flavor exactly thank you it's just it's just lit you know yeah nah, like, that's super lit right that's super lit that's what i'm saying how does this how does this exist right no now i know but right damn, this is fire thank you of course i can't wait to take this home and use it right yeah this because be do you usually roll your own weed mm -hmm. now nah, my mom's gonna roll hers right i'm done rolling her splits I'm done. wait <laughs> wait the fact that mom smokes though oh yeah, yeah both my parents oh, okay yeah. do you smoke with them yeah. That's yeah, so dope. Yeah, that's my parents. Yeah, it's lit. <laughs> at what, but, because at what age is it appropriate? Uh, see, I guess, well, I started smoking when I was 14. My mom knew when I was 16. Okay. And she was like, listen, smoke in the crib. Yeah. Don't go all getting in trouble. Because at the time, it was illegal. Right. Right? So she's like, don't go get in trouble. Just you and your friends come smoke here. So at 16, I'm, I'm litty. I'm just smoking all the time. Wait, did your yeah. friends know like it was cool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mom would smoke me then. She smoked me when I was like 18. Okay, okay. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah. But she would let me, you know, do my thing and yeah. you know, so it's all cool. But yeah, I was I was I was pretty open to smoking when I was younger, you know. Right. It was a big big deal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you remember the first time you got high? <sighs> yeah. I I oh my god, it was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I tried it one time. The first time I tried, I didn't get high. Right. Right. So the next time I tried it was in a bong. Right, poppers. Yes, I heard oh, you talk Lord. about that. You heard about the story. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was done. Have you had a popper before? No, I, is that a Toronto thing? It's a Canadian. Okay, thing, okay. I would. Say. I was trying to understand yeah. it when you were saying it. Yeah, it's a, or maybe an Ontario thing because yeah. a lot of places in Canada don't really do it, but I know a lot of people do. But um, it's just like a little piece of cigarette. You rip it off uh, and put it on the top of the shot, and then you dab some weed, and then you hit it. And then the tobacco gives you a crazy head rush. Oh. You just, you just fall back. It's, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and hitting it for the first time, your head's going in like 80 places at once. Right. So I was just like, I just sunk in the chair and I didn't talk <laughs> for like an hour. <laughs> That's not, I feel like when I take a dab, yeah. I literally am like, yo, RIP. Y like, yeah. Yeah. I feel, yeah. That, it's kind of like a dab. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. It's equivalent. What I don't like about that is, I don't know. Do you ever feel like when you're going to sleep, your minds are, your thoughts are racing a million miles per hour? I mean, my mind's already doing that. Right. That's, that's <laughs> same. Same. So I, I would say sometimes it slows it down, but it's sometimes like it makes my anxiety raise. I'm right. just like, oh, I gotta chill. Yeah. <laughs> I feel 
feel you. Yeah, I was gonna ask how, yeah, how cannabis improves your life. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it just keeps me cool, like it keeps me calm. You know right. what I'm saying? I get like antsy and stuff, like yeah. because I, I think so much, and then I'm just I've been smoking forever. So. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. Yeah, it just keeps me calm. You know, like I just I'm just a happier person. I feel you. <laughs> yeah. uh, what's your favorite thing to do high? Oh, uh, man, it used to be make music. But now I like watching trippy movies. Okay. I never used to be into that when I was younger. Like, yeah. But now I like watching trippy stuff when I'm high. That's. I feel yeah. like. Do you go to the movie theater? Yeah, I love movies. Me too. Yeah, I feel so like I you gotta go have high. To, bro, <laughs> you, you know. Like, it gives you me. Know. I'm like. I don't feel right if I. If yeah. I'm sober, what am I doing here? Right. <laughs> I gotta leave. Like, yeah, no, I gotta be high there. What's the trippiest movie you saw recently? Oh man, my honestly, it was something on Netflix. My boy put something on, and I was like, "Yo, what is this? It's like some cartoon? I don't know what it's like. An anime? It's like some new style anime. I don't know the name exactly, but it was so, the it was so, so artsy. Uh -huh. It was like so cool. I'm just like, yo, what the, hell, what the hell's going on over here? It's like so many, you know, those kid shows where it's just like so many things going on. That's how it had me. You know when a kid watches Coconut Melon or something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it had me like that. It was Damn. really good. It was really good. It was really good. What's it called? I don't even know the name. Oh, he just put it on. I was like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. hilarious. Man, yeah. well, how's Grammys week? Uh, it was dope. Honestly, I've never been around for the Grammys. So, really? like, yeah, it was my first time okay. being here for the weekend. Like, yeah. So, it was dope. I had a really good time walking a couple carpets and stuff and just nice. being in the parties. Yeah, it was dope. What was the highlight, would you say? Um, I seen Busta come out with Koi. Oh, yeah. At they, the yeah, they, cr they, destroyed the stage but i didn't know buster was coming out oh okay yeah, it was a surprise a, it, yeah I, I was like whoa buster this is crazy i always <laughs> wanted to see buster so it was lit it was that was a, that was a crazy moment i love it yeah. that player shit is a, is a bop yeah that was a fire that was For fire sure. yeah they killed that performance quite entertaining too that was fire yeah have yeah. you and koi tapped in yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. koi's homie yeah, yeah, good yeah. peoples, man. She's good. She's good peoples. For sure. I'm so happy for her. It's because yeah. like, she's been doing She's something. doing her thing, you know what I'm saying? I'm so proud of her for what she's overcome, you know for what I'm saying? Sure. Like, it's been a while. For so sure. I'm so happy to see where she's going right now, you know what I'm saying? It's great for her. Absolutely. Yeah. Did you get to talk to Busta? Mm-mm. Okay. I wish I did. Yeah. Next time, though. Next right. time, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Man, how long are you in L.A. for? Uh, damn, I was trying to... Probably gonna leave out tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. But I'm always here, you know, you know. Yeah. I'm always here. Do you be missing Toronto when you're out here? Mm, no, not really. Like, I love the city. You know, sometimes I get a little homesick, but it's not even in that sense. It's just like, I'm always thinking about my family and stuff. Right. So I'm like, uh, what are they worrying about me now? Like, Aww. what are they dealing with? You know, but okay. <laughs> other than that, like, I like getting away because, you know, I, I like getting away to the sun, especially. For, it's oh cold God, right now. It's like freezing cold. I literally said earlier, <laughs> all just put me in the under the sun and i'm good like, <laughs> literally no facts <laughs> i could use that you know right? it's so cold like right now it's like what like negative 30. it is freezing oh back home yeah, yeah so i'm not excited to get yeah. back home wait right now. in february it's negative 30. yeah it was it's, it's freezing snowing? yeah it was i think it was like just the other day it was like negative 30. yes yeah, snow winds like icy roads it's like do crazy you have your outside. heater on at all times all times all times you have to i didn't know that cold. <laughs> i wouldn't even go out if i was that cold like i mean a lot of us don't yeah. <laughs> usually just stay inside yeah that's crazy it'd be, it'd be like that damn like that. that's why i like it yeah i mm -hmm. feel you would you ever move here i've been thinking about it okay i was thinking about doing that right before, right when COVID happened oh okay yeah right when COVID happened i was like you know i'm gonna move here i was trying to look at some spots and then they said, oh, 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 you go with 19. i was like, okay i'm going home free okay. healthcare. <laughs> i'm gonna go back to where that was that a sign yeah yeah, yeah i gotta damn. go home. Yeah, so those signs, those omens be real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Dang, yeah, I just yeah, realized yeah. I forgot my buzzer, y'all. You got a buzzer? Yeah, for the trivia questions. Oh, snap. I'm really sad. Oh, we'll make snap. You got to Can you? <laughs> <laughs> Ready for the trivia questions? Mm. All right. Toronto is the origin of the longest street in the world. What is the name of the street? Dang, I don't even know how to pronounce it. There's these. a couple of them. I would say Young Street, though. Oh, man. Ding, ding, ding. Dang, hey. I need to get a bell, too. I'm fucking up. A <laughs> That's crazy. A couple long streets, but yeah, long streets. Yeah, long yeah. yeah. Okay, wait. So I'm gonna actually ha give you this uh, King Palm. So these are. This is a pre-roll. Oh, there's a pre-roll. Yeah. There's a blunt. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So King Palm is actually the original all-natural palm pioneer. So these are palm tree leaf wraps. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I've heard of King Palm. Before. Have you? Yeah, yeah. I yeah, might I've have given you some. Yeah, so these yeah, are their okay. banana cream wraps, and then this is a nice little gold ashtray. I love like right? weed gifts. Thank you. Right. <laughs> I love them. So they're actually the most oh, famous uh, smoke wrap company um, out of, in the smoke shops all across America. Oh yeah. I might need a lighter unless y'all wanna. I got you. You like, want me to yeah. spark this? This is a, a, a fire ashtray. Right? 
All these like little exotic gifts. Last time you gave me a little like one hitter. I know. Yeah. I use that. I use it. That makes me it's so, so happy. It's so convenient. Bruh, literally. Yeah. That makes me so happy. <laughs> like for real. So good. Right. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I love it. It's so convenient because like I don't gotta put all water in it and the cleaning's not so much. You know, it's like you smoke lazy. Ah, one hit, I'm good. <laughs> and sometimes that's yeah. all you really need. Yeah, you know, oh, I, no. I love that. It's dope shit. Dope shit. I love it. Right. Man, have you done any smoking interviews? Oh, you! I saw you rolled a backwood with Hot New Hip Hop. Yeah, I did that, but I think that was, that was probably it. Oh shit! Yeah, so this is my, probably my first time smoking an interview. I love it. Yeah, yeah it's fire. I love it. I'm so happy. <laughs> it's lit. Damn, I'm kind of mad that you got that trivia question <laughs> right so quick. He knows his Toronto. A little bit, 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 a little bit. Man, well, how I love are you? my city. Facts. Facts. <laughs> Okay, this is the icebreaker question I was gonna ask you. Icebreaker. Yeah, five hundred k or dinner with Jay Z. <laughs> oh man, uh, that's hilarious. I take the dinner with Jay though. Really? Yeah, I take the dinner with Jay. Tell us why. I can make five hundred k. That man, that's what Emily Chopper said. He was like, five hundred k, that's nothing. I was it's like, it's not like it's nothing, but I can make that. Right. Right. So I don't think that's, like that's a good answer. Yeah, I can make that. So I take the dinner with Jay Z. Knowledge is power. So facts. What you would know. you ask him? That I'm. I don't even know. <laughs> I have to just like. I don't know. I'm a like spontaneous person, so sometimes questions just come throughout conversation. You know. Mm. So like, I just. I don't know. I just like lean my into lean my way into figuring out what I want to ask him. Like this is just a moment. It depends on the moment of time we're at. You know. For sure. Yeah. How conversations going? I then. feel you. Because there's so many things he's done that right. a lot of people haven't done. You know. I don't want to just get right into. It, but, right. You know. I'll just see how it's going. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, maybe, you know, pick a little bit. Just pick a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because it's just crazy. I know you talk about this, but just the fact that you were rapping before you started singing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, my rap life. <laughs> the boom bap, right? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I try to forget about it. <laughs> hey! I, th- I, thought you, I thought you were, you said you were you were good, right? Well, yeah, yeah. I was, you know, I did my thing, but I actually don't rap no more. It's so crazy. Right, right, right. Like, I do, but... Like, I'm just like, I don't even see myself as a rapper anymore. Right, right, right. I yeah, feel you. Yeah, but it, that, yeah, that was me. That was me. I think I saw you made a song about some chicken at your school or some like. Oh, yeah, I had to do a. That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I, I used to work at the, the bistro for lunch. Yeah. Um, Used to sell like paninis and make yeah. smoothies and all that. But it was a part of my class, right? I was in a cooking class, so we had to do that. That's fire. You had cooking class in high school? Yeah. What kind of high school did you go to? It was just a public school. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you didn't? <laughs> what school you going uh, to? Oh, I went to a private Christian high school. Ah. Uh, well, no. Oh, I had to go to Bible Christian. every day. I mean, we had Catholic schools. They had it in there, too. Oh, you were at Catholic school? I mean, I went to a Catholic school for my oh. last year. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. Did you get in trouble? And... No, no, oh, okay. no. I actually just I just wanted to leave. You know? Oh, okay. Everybody was, like, leaving my my, my uh, Turner Fenton. That was my first high school. Uh-huh. So I was like, yeah, I don't want to be the last one here. I'm going to leave, too. Yeah. So <laughs> I left and I went to St. Augustine. That was my last school. Damn. Because yeah. I saw you got, you said you got popping in 11th grade, right? Yeah, yeah 11th grade. That was that was my uh, second last year. So, yeah, I was in my public school at that time. Yeah. I was at Turner, yeah. What happened that Roy Woods became Mr. Poppin? I don't know. I guess it was football, music. I was doing something that, like, nobody, I, I guess, did. Like in my era, from like in my area, in my city, it was just it was just very brand new. So like I guess it built a lot of excitement to see what was going on. Yeah. And there was some love. There was a lot of hate. It was just a lot of it was a lot of mixed emotions. No pun yeah. intended. Yo, <laughs> album has an album out. Go no listen. Pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> but um, you know, I just uh, I ran with it. I didn't stop, and you know, I just kind of just stayed in my own world, my own little bubble, until I took. Uh, opportunities that I would see fit for me, you know? Mm. Yeah. But it was just, it was a lot. I had all had a little rat beef. It was, got crazy. Wait, what was the rat beef over? It was just, it was just, it was, okay, so it was me and my, I, it was me and a homie. He's my boy now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Lisa, you know what I'm saying? Um, he been doing his thing, though. A uh, man like Rico. That's actually his name now. <laughs> but we used to go by Lisa. And I used to go by, like, Prussian. So it was, like, it was a whole different era. Of, yeah, Prussian. For, short for Depression. Oh, so wow. I used to, yeah, so I used to go, that was my, that was my rap name. So we were just, like, going at it, even though we, like, we knew each other. But, I don't know, something, he said something and I didn't like it. And because we were in the same circle, it was just yeah. like, Yo, what are you doing? So it was, it was a, it was Did a little thing. battle it out? Yeah, 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 yeah. We dropped records. We were dropping records. This, this records, records about each other. Yeah, yeah, we were just... 
but we knew each other yeah right but then we just knew about each other just for a little bit we weren't like you know like mad clicked up or anything yeah. so when it happened it was like there was a lot of like there was a lot of tension you know because man went to my school too right. so it was a lot of things happening it, it got a little crazy but uh, now we laugh about it you know yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. dang are they like damn you actually like we're in the same like we we have some like mutual friends. Okay. So I see like I see them all the time. We were just at a party the other day. Oh no. Nice. Yeah, we were just all in the uh, in the same party. Yeah, yeah. for a popcorn album release. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I oh, just seen that? him. It was good. That was dope. That was dope. Pop, 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 popcorn's a homie. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was, and it was a good party. Amazing? Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. He sound, 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 sound. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, can we touch on the depression real quick? For sure. Was that because you were. Oh, depressed? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've been. Yeah. I was going to ask if you were diagnosed. So, Shirley Sample has a huge focus on mental health. Mm, yeah, I, I realized I was, well, I was diagnosed when I was, I think, 19. Okay. Yeah. And my mom was also diagnosed the same time with me. Wow. But hers was chronic. Oh, wow. You're right. So, and I was already she found out that at that point in her life? Yeah, and she found out that I was depressed, too. Oh, right, wow. but she didn't know. But I told my mom, like, mom, like at thirteen, I was like, mom, I'm depressed. She's like, boy, what are you talking about? Right. You thirteen years old. What you know about that? Yeah. Right. So I just went through a whole like stage of just um not knowing what it was or knowing how to accept it or what it was, and I just kind of like just dealt with life the way I just know how to deal with it, but just put it to the back of my head and keep moving, you know. Right. So I mean, yeah, that's where that that name came from. It was just very early me feeling that way, you know, me being that I don't know, I guess embracing it. Yeah. Yeah. What was it? What were you going through? Was it mostly like family stuff? Oh yeah, at the time it was mostly fam. Everything was about my family. Yeah, everything was about my family right. usually, um, especially at that time, you know, because I'm such a I'm such a big family person. But um, my dad and my mom they weren't really together. They were right. like they were like on and off and stuff, even though they were married. So they didn't have the best, you know. They she it was like um, I seen a lot growing up that I shouldn't have, you know, right. especially with my mom. So I always had a soft spot for her. Mm -hmm. um, even though I was like, I still had a very good relationship with my dad. I still do. I have a good relationship with both of my parents, but it did get tarnished just from their like little war. Yeah. And then um, I was like, my mom was very dependent on me from like very young, like at eight years old. Like I was just taking care of her. I had to take care of my sister. Right. I had to give her. I, I had to help cook food. I had to do a lot of stuff. Yeah, you know, at eight, it was like I grew yeah. up really, really quick. So I didn't know what a, I didn't have a child. Everything that I I did love about being a kid, I kind of had to like let it go, and I would try to fight for it, but. I never could hold on to it because my reality is this, yeah. you know? So it was, my life was just always so different and I always stood out from everybody else. I did not even like fit in a lot. And then I come home and then it's just more problems. You know, my mom, she was, um, uh, uh, she, there was a lot wrong with her head that we didn't know about. Right. Right. Like she, um, she just, I'm, it's honestly, this is my first time talking about it. No, she just came out of the hospital, uh, recently, um, cause she went missing. Right, oh so we couldn't find her. Yeah, so we couldn't find her, and then for um, how long? it was only for like a day or two. Yeah, it was a, a okay. full day. Yeah, and me and my sister, we fought. Like we never fight, but me and yeah. my little sister, we fought over it, and then uh, Damn. we were trying to, we were like, we were trying to find her. So, um, we 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 ended up finding out that she's at the she's at the hospital. She checked in herself. Oh wow! Which is where we were trying to get her to, and she's in the psych ward. So she was there for a minute. We're dealing with a whole crazy situation. Right. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we just, honestly, since then, since she's been out the hospital, that's what I've been doing. I've just been taking care of my mom. Wow. Yeah. It's as best as I, best I can, you know? Right. But yeah, be, our relationship's been the best since then. Right. You know, like I've spoken about my childhood with her. Right. About how I felt, about how I felt then. Like yeah. a lot of like doors that I closed, like I opened them and then she's openly, you right. know, spoken about them to me, For with sure. me. It's been great. It's been good, you know, That's just to let her know how I really felt, you know, yeah. I'm not lying about it. You know, it was good. For sure. I just want to ask, cause honestly, you know, I've had, Ooh. I had Cowboy on here. He, oh, you good? <laughs> it almost spilled over. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Um, Cowboy's in, been in the psych ward. I myself have been in the psych ward. Um, really? yeah, that's just, you know, I struggle with a lot. I don't really open up about my story either, but mm. Um, that shit is like traumatizing, mm -hmm. like traumatizing. It like is. it makes you really just be like, damn, I need to get it together. Cause this has to motivate me. You know, yeah. do you know what she was going like? It was, uh, yeah, it was just a lot of, a lot of her past or a lot of her demons that she 
she never got to deal with. Right, right, right. So now I'm I'm trying to let her deal with it. You know, right. like I'm trying to guide her into dealing with the things that have made her feel like this. Because I was there every step of the way. Right. Right. It's just about backtracking now. Right. And getting to the root of it. So that's what I've been trying to like encourage in my mom. It's scary to do those things. Yeah. Because these a lot of doors we may be able to go back and open, but there's always going to be one door that's going to right you know what i mean and Damn, i know that, that's so, real yeah even for me and myself so it's like i understand what she's going through to right. a certain degree so i was like yeah i'm just trying to like help guide her Hell into yeah. just being the the best her that she wants to be you for know? sure yeah that must be heavy for you and your sister too though like it is but it's we're her kids we can yeah, deal with it. <laughs> yeah 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 i feel you yeah. can i i'm gonna read you the statistic cool. uh 58.2 percent of black and african-american young adults 18 to 25 and 50% of adults 26 to 49 with serious mental illness did not receive treatment. This was in 2018. Um, that's just a crazy statistic, and it's just going off what you said. Like, yeah. you know? Yeah, did crazy. you ever go to therapy? Do you feel like therapy ever helped? I know we never did. Okay. No, still? We never did. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm still hesitant. I looked at the number, like, before I came out. Here, oh, my like, gosh. I still have to call you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so, you. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, we never, we never done it yet, no. That's crazy. Well, can I ask why? It's a battle. We, you know, we want the kids want to like me and my sister. We would want to. Yeah. She, my mom doesn't want to, and then I'm turned off by it. But they want to. Right. It's just a whole. It's just a Damn. mix, man. It's just everybody doesn't know right. what they really want. You know. So. Yeah. I will say, I'm sure you have homies. You can. I, you have music, but yeah, like, yeah, I will yeah. say, just getting shit off your chest. Mm -hmm. You know. Still feel a little misunderstood. At, no, at for lot, sure. You know? So sometimes the music is the only avenue i feel you, know? you it's the only thing that i don't know but that's a blessing for sure yeah yeah it is that's why i i appreciate like the fact that i can do this because yeah when i i've always just treated music like my my form of therapy yeah i was you know? gonna ask even before roy wood yeah. was music always that was that always your like coping mechanism no oh no i was like sports oh right, right. Football, football. <laughs> i forgot he was a football player y'all yeah he i was just popping. i just he was on the people. newspaper <laughs> he was on the newspaper yeah, okay yeah. yes indeed yeah, yeah. brampton guardian mm. <laughs> was that a lit super lit game like oh man no we lost oh we lost that game i'll be honest we lost I, I had a good season. That was one of my one of my best seasons. I think that was grade ten. That was like when I won the MVP for the second time in my like little football career. Damn. Or offensive MVP. Yeah. So Yeah, I remember when I got most improved <laughs> player. I was like, it's lit. I remember the, I got that the year before. Yo. So I was like I went from MIP to MVP. That's it was dope. Yeah, Damn. it was dope. I really I really miss playing football, man. It was Damn. a beautiful moment. Do you still we, play football? Ah, nah, okay. look at that smoke. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. That's real, too. Yeah, Imagine no. Imagine smoking and going playing football. That sounds painful, actually. But you want to know what? Yeah, I'm going to start running with the guys. We've been trying to do a little thing. So, okay, you know, dope. Yeah, yeah. Dope. but I do like coaching. Yo, a lot yeah. of people are doing that. Yeah, yeah, I do enjoy coaching. I'll be like, my, my boy Will, he uh -huh. always be coaching, and he likes to bring me around, and you know, because he knows I have a passion for football. Right. So he be bringing me along. So, I, you know, I love the coaching. That's you know, hard. Watching them, teaching the game, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I love that. So who you got for the Super Bowl? Mm. Oh, wait. Who is it again? It's uh, Kansas City and Philly. I knew Kansas that. Yeah. I knew that. I knew that. I just, yeah. Uh, I'm thinking, I see, Philly's such a nice team. Yeah. But it's like, Casey's been there before with this okay. team, right? Okay. And f this is a whole new Philly team. There's only, like, I believe, two maybe players, maybe one, that's been to the uh, Super Bowl mm. from that Philly team. So. Right. Uh, I'm gonna have to go KC still. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have okay. to go KC. Um. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, dude, weed and fruit though, like. It's pink watermelon, uh, pink pineapple. I never. Right. You never heard of it? Mm mm. Oh my gosh, I'm mm -mm. so happy that. It's just um, an exotic fruit tree. Right. I and mean, I love the fact that this is on there. Right. Yeah, this is fire. Yo, that was who'd I have? Oh, I had Fora. You know Fora? Mm -mm. He's an artist from Anaheim. Um, but yeah, that was his girl's favorite, wow. the pink. Right? You That's know what they say about up. pineapple. <laughs> this is fire. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> You're terrible. It's <laughs> aphrodisiac, right? Am I right? Is it? No, it's not aphrodisiac, but it does help your sperm taste better. <laughs> oh, isn't that what aphrodisiac is? 
No, it helps you. Mm -hmm. Oh, my mm -hmm. bad, my bad. That's oysters. I just got to ask. Yeah. Um, Cause I actually think it's hilarious. I had to write a story about it actually. Yeah, I think Drake, Drake bet like 1.1 million on the Kansas City Chiefs. What are your thoughts on that? That was uh, that was on which game? That was the Bengals versus Chiefs. Oh yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> I bet too. Wait, how much did you wait? Did you win or lose? I lost. Oh yeah, <laughs> how much did Roy Woods lose? You know what's crazy? Cause it's not how much I didn't I didn't place a crazy crazy bet, but my turnout was gonna be crazy. Hello, wanna come on? Come in, yay! Hello. Slim is here. <laughs> come, I moved that top. Uh, oh, oh no! Oh. Or not? Yeah. Okay. I moved it. Yeah. Let come, come, come back. Mm -hmm. How much did you lose? Oh yeah, no. no. So, yeah, I, I I didn't bet a lot, but it's how much I would have won. Oh, how much would you have won? It was a couple grand. It was a couple grand. Damn. Like a couple grand, you know? Yeah. I placed like what, forty bucks. So I was oh, like, okay. Dang, how does that work? That you can come up a few the grand. Odds, and... the okay, odds. okay. Yeah, it's all about the odds. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Damn. So you're into the? Are you betting on the Super Bowl? Oh yes. Damn. Yes, that yes, would that yes, gives yes, me I too am. much anxiety. Like I would just be like. I always have anxiety. I be screaming, <laughs> yelling, like running around the house. Like I be all over the place. Right. I be passionate though. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Your anxiety oh, races. I love it though. You know. For Little, sure. That's my adrenaline rush. That's all I need. For sure. I don't want to jump out of plane. I'm good. Oh, you haven't football done football Sundays? Yet? No. <laughs> no football Sundays are not Wait. for me. <laughs> I don't need any more. Cause I used to do drugs and I don't anymore. So I'm like adrenaline junkie. Oh man, I feel you. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Well, I can't do that. I'm not yet, at least. I won't say I can't do it. Yeah. I'll do it, but not now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not now, not now. I just want to tell you that bungee jumping is ten times worse than skydiving. Like I thought out, like bungee jumping. I, would, I wouldn't do that either. <laughs> is a different level of. Cause people think jumping out of sky is scarier, yeah. but bungee jumping is like actual fear. Yeah. Yeah, uh, bro. No. I jumped off LA. <laughs> Jumping out of anything, being in the air, I don't want to do it. I like my feet on the ground. <laughs> I'll, I'll get like swimming. I'm good. I'm dead. Ziplining? No. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is crazy. Are you scared of heights? Yes. Okay. I Terrified. I'll, but I'll do like really, I'll do roller coasters. Yeah, yeah. I just recently fun. got over roller coasters, so oh, I'll nice. do that. They're you know? fun, right? Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Okay. That right. adrenaline I do like as well. Yeah, but other than that, no. And I don't even do roller coasters too much. Right. But yeah, yeah you yeah, didn't yeah. grow up to um, theme parks. Did you ever? I mean, I went like a couple times. Yeah. I went a couple times, but yeah. and I went on a roller coaster once, and I threw it right after. Damn, oh. Yeah, so I was like, nope, never again. That is not Never funny. again. I used to go on the little kitty one for years. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that is hilarious. I didn't leave it for years. It was that hilarious. That is so cute. Yeah. Okay, so I, I heard, well, I know you fuck with the shrooms, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's crazy. I, actually, I got some, uh, I got some, uh, what's, what's the, what is it called again? It's the microdose pills. Oh, yeah, 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 for right? sure. I just found, I looked at my drawer, I seen it, I was like, I don't know if I really want to take this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it makes me trip out sometimes, you know. Yeah. But um, yeah. No, I want to. I need to go on a shroom trip again. But I need to do the full doses. I never did the full doses. Dang, you yet. know what's crazy? Like the three, full three point five. You know. Oh okay. Yeah, I've never done it yet. I've only done like two. Damn. Yeah, I'm scared to go like three. <laughs> so I yeah, I have you done the three? So I so it was in high school, bro. Mm. I tell this story way too many times, but oh, it man. was just like it was so scary that it scarred me. I haven't done it until re like last year i'm 32 now Damn. so it was it yeah it's been a minute but i ate like almost a half of shrooms i was at a high school party i was fighting with my best friend yeah but i saw grass grow from concrete what so like i saw the beauty of shrooms yeah but then i immediately flipped because it turned into a bad trip damn that's but I f have you ever had a bad trip yeah I have. oh acid yeah no 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 no, no. Oh. all shrooms oh, okay but it's because i drank too oh no you can't do that uh, yeah i drank a lot there's <laughs> a lot of rum Damn, yeah, yeah, that yeah, is yeah, scary. Like, yeah, I had a bad trip. I yeah. called my family and shit. Oh, no. I woke up the next day like, what happened? Yeah. I looked at my phone, beer messages. And I'm like, what's going on? Oh, and my God. Yeah, it was Were you there? No, oh, no, he uh, wasn't. No, 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 no. That's he wasn't. Funny. Okay. <laughs> he would have heard about it. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was, it was embarrassing, but, you know, yeah. I, that's actually the last time I, no, it was the second last time I did shrooms. Okay. The last time I did shrooms, I was up north in the winter. 
like I think in the Bay two years ago or in Toronto. No, in Toronto. Okay, Toronto, I was Toronto. like, <laughs> I'm from the Bay, so I was like, you were in the Bay Area. All right. <laughs> no, no, no. Up north is like like three hours away or so. Okay. So yeah, we were there. Oh my god, I did some shrooms there. We were walking on ice. I've never oh done that before. my god. Well, yeah, first of all, I always tell people like, you you have to be in nature. But yeah, ice, yeah, you have I could be. I could not imagine being cold. Oh, my God. Oh, I was, was on amazing. acid. One. Oh, it was good? It was amazing. You weren't cold? No. It was amazing. It one was time really I was good. on acid in San Francisco, and we were stranded, and I was so cold. It was the worst experience. Really? But, like, what made right. it amazing? Because it was, because oh, I was just man. cold. I don't know. I was with, like, a whole bunch of boys. Okay. And we were all, like, we were all off the streams, right? And we were all making music, too. So, it was, like, a little, like, we had, like, a little music house. Yeah. Or cottage, whatever you want to say. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. It was just, like. We, I was just doing a whole bunch of things I never did before. Yeah. And I loved seeing, I love being on shrooms in the forest with all the white around. Like, yeah. I never seen it like that before. So it was dope. It was amazing. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was amazing. It was amazing. I love that. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a perfect time to give you a gift from. Another gift? This is from Lava Exotic. This is a jacket. This is a gift from Lava oh, Exotic. Lava Exotic. But there's some this fire pre rolls in there for you. Okay. Oh, there's some pre rolls too? Yeah. That's fire. So, you know, I know you like the drip. You want to open it up? Yeah. You feel me? Oh shoot. Oh, okay. It's kind of hard. I'm you not gonna lie. It's kind of okay. hard. You feel Your me? Life is going. Life's going fast. Yeah. You feel me? All right. You feel me? No pain. I know. You, I know you always drippy. You know I love my gear. <laughs> yeah. What's the smoke? What's the fussy? Yeah, that's all I smoke. A Lava Nation. That's Lava his brand. Nation. Yeah. Okay. You know we gotta get you right for the for the you. cold Toronto. Oh my goodness. You feel me? You do not want to know. Wait. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, another trivia question. What's up? From which organ does THC pass to the bloodstream? Your blood. No. I'm wait, 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 wait. The bloodstream. Oh, four options. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm fried. <laughs> <laughs> A liver, B small intestine, C lungs, D kidneys. Oh, lungs. Okay, ding, 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 ding. Fried. Damn. I, I said, oh, your blood. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> okay. I feel hilarious. like you're smart. I mean, I know some shit. <laughs> I know some shit. You like I'm history, not dumb. right? Huh? You like history? Mm-hmm. What are you into right now? Um, Weirdly enough, I've been looking into, like, animals of, like, like, ex like extinct animals and, like, animals that, um. Oh, my gosh. I love that. <sighs> that uh, well, well, it's not just extinct animals it's like there's other animals that oh yes big uh enormous animals as well like yeah prehistoric animals exactly yeah yeah exactly yeah bro there's so many you don't believe it really <laughs> i feel you no <laughs> i don't know about i don't know about this the the the, the textures of the skin but by the bones is the only thing that i know and how and there was way more oxygen than there is now because there was less. So there were, oh. they, yeah, that's why they 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 can they can say and have a, a theory that things were way bigger and they were certain animals that were enormous, like like um, oh. you know how we how we have like King Kong, there's like um, an animal that, that I'm looking into the like, that I was learning about, uh, Gigantotypicus, it's like um. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> nah, that is beer views. Wait, he thinks it's real though. No, no, no. I, oh. I don't even know. It's just like I'm just looking into it. Yeah, it's like interesting stuff because like, it's possible, but who knows? Right? I don't really. Wait, so there's you, no, there's not like real proof, proof. No. Right? That's it's <laughs> crazy. You just keep getting smaller. Everything keeps getting smaller, even humans. Y'all are scaring me. What's gonna happen to us? I'm just saying it's a possibility. You know what I mean? But I don't know. It's dope. It's dope to learn about, though. Yeah. I, I've been getting deeper into like, even there's um another another sp uh, species of apes that nobody really knows about called bonobos. But it's mainly a female uh female species. Like they the the, the females like really like they run the species like how you know like chimpanzees like the males they yeah. like run their species. It's like the ma the females. It's like girl power over there. Damn. I I didn't even know about that. You know. Did you like, know that the weed flower is a female plant? <laughs> of course. Oh okay. Of course. <laughs> Yeah, you, know, you gotta grow weed. Yeah, we grow. We can grow weed back home. It's fine. Oh, you do? Yeah, we can grow weed. Well, I mean, I tried, oh, okay. but it didn't work because oh, yeah. I'm not home like that. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, you can. Right. We can grow weed back home. 
Yeah. That's dope. Yeah, I didn't know hard. Toronto was cannabis friendly. Oh yeah, all of all of Canada. It's all legalized. It's good. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Well, since you got the trivia question right, you get to hit this hamper bong. Yeah. Oh man, the bong. Holy. Wait, am I supposed to get? Is, am I supposed to make you take this when you get something wrong? <laughs> well, it's a celebration. Yeah. It's a celebration. Dang. That's true. I feel like at this rate, because he's been. I've been killing it. Yeah. That's fire. But I can't wait to show you this because I feel like you would really appreciate this. What's this? Do you want to hit it first and then? Okay, I'm going to hit it first. <laughs> I'm going to hit a little bit. Right. Damon, you're lighter. Damn. <laughs> I'm done. Damn. I, damn. See, damn. That is the milkiest. <laughs> da- I'm not getting that high. <laughs> yeah. Do you all smoke? Do you want to clear this? <laughs> yeah, look at them. They were like, no, please get that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm good. good. I'm good. I'm a big boy. All right, all right. Do you that see how good. milky that is? Oh, that's milky. Oh, hell no. I'm going to take a little bit, though. Oh, my I'm goodness. Oh, my God. I know. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm saying. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Yo, damn. That's yeah. in my throat. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, man. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I didn't expect that at all. Oh, my God. Oh, man. <laughs> you, usually I give their small bongs. These are their XL pieces. <laughs> okay. I took, like, this much. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, you Yo, just low key, little... <laughs> everyone crazy. thinks I be gassing yeah. all the time. Yeah. I've been taking a little break. Yeah. So today I've been like, dang, am I going to die? Oh, uh, like, yeah, you get your fried. <laughs> <laughs> but look how cute this <laughs> bong is. Ooh, it's a UFO. That's crazy. Isn't that so? I couldn't wait to give that to you. Another bomb. Yeah. This is fire. And then I was going to ask. This is fire. I was going to ask if you believe in aliens. <laughs> you know what? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say yes. Damn. Because I kind of do. Yeah. Do y'all believe? Yeah. UFOs? It's so crazy. A UFO, though? I'm just yeah. like anti sci fi everything, so I'm gonna just. Really? Uh, I don't know. Alien? I, I think I think that shit's out there. Dude. What about ghosts? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I believe in that shit too. <laughs> I mean, when you get to mermaids, that's when I'm like, hmm. Uh, <laughs> I just think they'd be mad wondering what aliens are. Me too. Me too. But you know, there's always, they always say they're like. Like millions of different spe- like races or species of aliens and shit, so that we've seen or been in contact with and all that. So I don't know, I don't know. Are you spiritual? Yes. Like, what do you believe in? Well, I grew up Christian. Me too. And I grew up Catholic, but I'm also like I'm, my mom was also a big spiritual person. Like she was also a big believer in the universe. Mm. So my faith is definitely tied, you know, um, within Christianity, but. I'm also a very spiritual person, so I'm very open. Yeah. You know? Um, I, love I don't, that. yeah, like, I'm, there's also, like, so many different religions that, when you look back in history, like, a lot of the stories are the same. Yeah. Or, or similar, not the same. Sim- there's similarities, you know? So, I don't really want to get into all that. <laughs> but I don't have, I don't know, uh, uh, anything towards any religion, mm-hmm. right? I, I embrace it. I'm just very open minded to, to I don't, at all because it's all a part of the world, you know right. what I'm saying? So, absolutely. Yeah. I feel you. What, you spiritual? That's a tough question. Yeah. I feel like I was I I grew up Christian because I went to a private Christian high school. Facts, facts, facts. Um, but I feel like I've been through so much shit that I went through a phase where I was just like mad at God, and I was like. Yeah. And then now I'm in a phase where I'm like the Bible just seems so fabricated. Mm. Um. In that stage. Yeah. Do you know that there's a a a thing on YouTube? Ah. Uh, Dang it! Oh, I knew the name, but it's where uh, uh, it's a series of shows where people they sit down and they have like um, uh, conversations. Like I was watching, um, what was one I was watching? Dang it! All this weed, I can't think. Yo, I know. <laughs> I literally am sitting here like, fuck! I got hella shit to do today. Oh okay. man, but no, yeah, they, they there's just a they have like debates about their beliefs, mm-hmm. right? Or um, um, the lives that they come from. So, for instance, there was like foster kids um, oh uh, and kids who maybe have grown up 
in you know normal homes or normal came from you know what I'm saying lives like that. So there's like debates like that. You know, have you ever have you ever, you haven't seen that like show mm-hmm. or series? Have you? It's dope. It's That's dope. You gotta. Crazy. I'm gonna I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna yeah, text it to you. Thank you. You gotta yeah. You gotta find it because it's like you get to see so many different perspectives of people of how they think and the lives that they come from, and then Bro, it, in a room colliding and clashing together is like something that else. That is wild. Yeah, it's something else. I had else. Anaya Love Note on my show. I'm not sure if you know who that is, mm. but. She grew up in foster care and like, mm. first of all, the mental health st- statistics are staggering. Like that shit is actually yeah, yeah, crazy. Yeah. But like to hear Literally. her just like the way she she was just saying this really got me like her and her sisters would try to be bad so they could send them back home. Cause mm. They didn't like their. She said her foster home was like evil, like the family was just evil. Damn. And it's just crazy to hear that because it's like, I don't know. It just be hella real. No, like, it is. It is. And no. it, it, it affects you when you grow up. You yeah. Know? So it's, it's just a lot. No, I I have um I, I had a few friends, you know, some family who also came up in the foster care system too. Oh so, wow. Yeah, so I seen I seen it, you know, firsthand, you know. Right. Uh, it's there it's very different. Yeah. You know, just the, the group homes and everything. It's it's crazy. Yeah. You know, but um see yeah, I know I remember those days, man. Damn. Yeah. It's it's real, it's real life. Right. It's such a young age, you right. know, it's like so unfortunate. It breaks my heart. You know? Yeah. It's 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 a make or break situation like very early. Right. Yeah. Man, well how are you doing? How's your mental health? I'm all right. I'm floating above the water. <laughs> you know, yeah, I'm coasting, but I'm good. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not bad yet. You know, I'm all right. So I'm. I'm just trying to, you know, stay maintain, stay focused. And, yeah. You know. Why all yeah. right though? You know, I'm just Life, always. Yeah. yeah, you're always gonna go through the motions. Yeah. Okay. You know, so like I'm going through my motion. Yeah. You know, but at the end of the day, like I know what I want for myself. I want to grow, so I'm going forward. I'm staying focused. You know, so that's, that's what beautiful. it is. Yeah, that's what it's about. That's beautiful. Yeah. Well, I'm going to give you this gift. It's from Source Cannabis. Damn, more so gifts. This is the cannabis that's, that was in the hemper bomb. How many gifts did you, know? you <laughs> plan on giving Bro, me? Did you know what you My were walking into? My suitcase is going to be packed up. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I can we bring it all. Oh, damn. I mean, I, I might, but I'm going to yeah. see. There's a lot of gifts. No, what is this? Oh, you can open it this I'm way. trying to open it. Oh, this okay. Way. I'm fried. Oh, wait. Yeah, me too. Holy. Oh. Yeah, so it's a little gift for you. That's dope. Yeah, so that, they're actually an... Los Angeles-based legacy cannabis brand. Okay. Um, they're focused on long-lasting functional highs, and they oh, also the utilize sustainable highs. growing practices, so it's mm. good for the environment. Um, you know, it has just gas. And we were actually smoking on their Damn. Oreo string. Oh, okay, yeah. some gas. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, perfect timing. Oh, my God. Was that not the per- most perfect timing? <laughs> This came up, kick okay. up. Okay. Oh damn, it's three forty. Damn, Roy. Oh, it's about that time. Well, <laughs> I got an interview at four, All so. Good. But I definitely want to talk about "Don't Love Me." Please do. Is that your new song that's coming out? Yeah. Uh, you know, "Don't Love Me" is um, you know, it's just a little record about how I feel, you know, about. I would say love right now. It's mm-hmm. like. It's confusing. It's all over the place for me. My it's life always. is so. It is, you know. Yeah. You're never gonna know, like, okay, like this is it for sure until, like, I guess you're just really, really in it. But at the stage I'm in my life, like, I'm. I need to go forward. I can't settle down and slow down right now. Yeah. I got other things that I need to focus on. Like as we were talking about earlier, right? right. Like, uh, and there's so much more. So, yeah. for that, I like to me to give a lot of my energy into a relationship. It already it bugs me. Right. It's not like in a bad way. It's just like I I want to give more, but I can't, you know. Okay, so, so is this, <laughs> is this toxic or? I mean, you call it what you want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say that this is this is how I feel, right. but um, and I know there's others that feel like that. I just didn't know how. If I don't, I wouldn't say if it was good or bad. It was really just real life for me. And I like I let people know, like I let girls know, like listen, like I'm too busy for this. Like, I, I can't you. get into all this right now. Like, you know, I'm still I'm still doing me right now. I'm still on my, you know, what I'm saying. So I'm not trying to. I don't want to break your heart. I don't want to get into it. And sometimes it happens. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So that's what the, that's what this record is about. You ain't ever, but you never seen a girl and you're like, damn, I want to wipe you up. Of course, of course, oh. of course. You know, but then like, can you handle it? What was your last relationship? Deep. Long time ago. Yeah, long time ago. Long, like probably like high school. Oh damn. Yeah, yeah. I haven't. I've tried. Yeah. You know, like it's been like I've had situationships. Right, right, right. But where I say, yeah, this is my, you know, I haven't really had that. No. Damn. Mm-hmm. So you was this know. song inspired by a certain female? 
Uh, yes. Damn. Um, Do they know it's about them? Um, I don't think so. Okay. I don't think so. Maybe when they hear it, they might. Yeah. But <laughs> it's also like past experiences as well mixed up. Right. But definitely got the inspiration for more. Got you. Indeed. But you're dating. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I want to, but yeah. mm. you just got stuff to focus on. Yeah, I'm all, I'm all busy, busy. Right. Yeah. Damn. What do you do uh, for your self, for self care? What do you like to do? Self care. Yeah. Well, um, mm, I'm working on that part right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's always a battle because I was doing good, and then like, I will, I don't know. I was just kept, in, I just kept getting injured. So I was always like out for the count yeah no but i couldn't do the things like i really wanted to so it was messing me up you know so i'm trying to get back into that you know really waking up early self-care mm. I, I, boo, boo, you know but mm. it's a battle it right is here, you know it, it is yeah, yeah, yeah how much how much sleep you getting ah uh, it varies some days no sleep like one two hours yeah some days it's like i just sleep like 12 hours straight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it varies you know it varies yeah. you be getting sleep proper um, I'm diagnosed bipolar, so I have to get eight hours a night. Eight order, hours in order to function. Mm. Yeah, so I may, I kind of make it, but I, I've had insomnia in my whole life, so I actually have to take medication oh, to man. fall asleep. Dang. It's a lot. I feel you. But I you ever had insomnia? I, w I thought I was, but okay. no. Okay. No, you sleep no. good. Yeah, it was just thoughts keeping me up. Right. I've tried to learn how to control them a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So does weed Sorry. help you sleep or no? It used to. Okay. Now it's just like. I yeah. be smoking, smoking, like, what well, am I going to get tired? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Uh, do you ever take breaks? Sometimes, yeah. Okay. Like, you know, it'll be like three splits in a row, and I'm just like, yeah, okay, yeah. Let, me wait, let me wait an hour until I smoke again. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever you're tired of smoking, yeah. this is a gift from Space Gods. So tired this is smoking. actual legal cannabis. These are edibles. They taste amazing. What? They deliver right to your doorstep. It's called Space Gods. What is this? Yeah. <laughs> They're um cereal bar. So y yeah, they're actually legal. So they're you can find oh, them fire. in smoke shops. But yeah, it's Delta Nine. You've had Delta, Delta Nine? Nine? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like the most closest thing you can get to THC. But forty grams. Yeah, yo. So forty I told grams. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> we got you. <laughs> we got you. <laughs> I got one more gift for you. Okay. So these are from Sluggers. All right. These are pre rolls. Carefully crafted diamonds, solventless hash and keys. Uh, do you oh. like infused joints? I I'm, I haven't really been too familiar with them. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I just really, usually roll my. So the, this is like the pure. It's no botanical terpenes. It's all cannabis terpenes. Damn. It's this is like the purest form. Oh shit. Yeah, and they want to get you lit every time you come to LA. All right. So this is oh. this is from their hat. Okay. You feel me? Sluggers. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. We gonna net. We gonna make sure the second you land, <laughs> you are lit, and I then this is theirs. That. Yes, of course. Thank okay, you. so we're actually gonna um, end on a temple ten. Temple ten, I. Right. Yeah. Run it up. Fire round. Let's go. <laughs> are you ready? This is my favorite part. Let's get it. All right. Favorite emoji. Um, probably the crying emoji with the with the with the, with the, the tears going down. Damn. It says a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> favorite munchies. Side. Favorite munchies. Uh. Mm, dang. Ooh, what do I get? What do I want? Munchies. Uh, this <laughs> so, so many choices. I just eat food. Honestly, I just eat food. That's literally what Amber <laughs> Rose. Wait, do you, you? Amber Rose said that verbatim. For she real? was like, "I don't snack. I like I yeah, like food. real food. Like food. I don't want chips and I don't want no. I want food. Yeah, <laughs> that ass. I don't like snacks. Not even fruit. No. What are we eating, I Amber? I don't like fruit. I don't like cupcakes. I don't like snacks. I don't like cookies. I don't like, I like food. Rice, <laughs> pasta, chicken, anything. Food. Oh, yeah, Seafood you is cook. my favorite. You're yeah. a fucking chef. I love, yeah. Be, what is now your... I be, now, now I be chefing up with, like, way more now. So. Wait, we need Roy Woods to open a restaurant in Toronto. Uh, where he's a chef. Everywhere. Are you, like, into, like, bougie restaurants and, like, yeah. dining? I'm, I'm, I'm getting into it. Have you, you been to Providence out here? Nah, see, yeah. okay, now you put me on. I gotta, it's, go, to, it's I gotta a, go to Providence. It's in, it's in West Hollywood. Okay. It's, like, a five courses it's really eight courses with the desserts yeah eight? but it's like yeah you would really appreciate it okay yeah providence I'm yeah check it out Peep it. It you, out. Got, you gotta celebrate you. your next yeah you know next time you're in la Same but um, uh biggest fear 
ice. Right. <laughs> Wait, sorry, real quick, back to the cooking. You, you need to do more, because, like, I feel like my favorite content on Instagram is cooking yeah. videos. See, I always want to be, like, I want to do it, but I'd be cooking so fast, I'd just be like, ah. Oh. Boy, this is when you hire somebody, <laughs> hire one of your homies, and be like, yo, we're oh, man. cooking. And you get to they eat be this sleep. amazing food. They be sleep. Yo, and I, per- they wake up, and they're like, oh, there's food. Be it. It's amazing. You, anyone would do it to eat your food, though. If right, it's if it's if it's that good, is it good? Is this food good? I gotta good? get a bobby. I gotta get a bobby. It's good. Favorite meal? Mac and cheese. Yeah. yeah. Eh? <laughs> the way yeah, he I'm like, surprised he said that one. Wait. I'm surprised. Okay. Wait. Yeah, my mac and cheese is busting. What? <laughs> busting. All right. Wait. Easy work. You're not vegan, are you? No. Okay. Because I was gonna say. I, I tried to be vegan for like a week. Oh, <laughs> Chop cheese. Yeah. Any way you want. Wait. Any way you want. Any way. Come on. Damn. Yeah, I fuck up a chopped cheese. Mm. Yeah, that's my shit. Wait, how often do you cook? All the time. I like, I always Every cook. day? I try to because I hate ordering out and they don't, yeah. they can't make what I make. Right. So now I just cook all the time. That's beautiful. That's yeah. What, do you, what music do you play when you're cooking? Oh, a lot of reggae. Okay. Ooh, um, it's Bob Marley's birthday. I like. Big Can up Bob. Can we play that once we rap? Three big up Bob. Big up Bob. Yeah. Yeah, nah, 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 for real. Um, yeah, a lot of reggae. Sometimes it's R and B. You know, that's really that's really what I feel like to stay there. I don't listen to trap or anything. I like to stay in that range. Ooh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Super. Pu- I, that's true though, cause like the music you listen to. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel you. Uh, it's just th- too amped up cooking. I don't want to be. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be doing that. What is that song? Flick of the wrist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Right. That's crazy. Dumbest bag you ever dropped? Clothes. How much? Like, no cap. Hotels. Oh, okay. Hotel fees. That's for work purposes. No, for the fees. Uh, the smoking fees. Oh my gosh, how much is. Damn. That's Just like weird. what? 20? More than that? 20 what? More than 20. Oh, the one year, yeah, one year. Wait, what happened? Yeah, one one year, 20 bands. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 20? <laughs> what hotel? What? There you go. Oh. Yeah. That's hilarious because do Yeah. But that's hilarious because do you yeah. walk in not giving a fuck? Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, well, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did. Yo, because I remember in college trying to smoke in the shower. You never tried that shit. Yeah, I mean, we do it, but, you know, you know, we niggas, man. We yeah. Gonna, we gonna be niggas. <laughs> we gonna do some nigga shit. Like, it happens. Wait! This is, this is the perfect timing, y'all. Like this timing has anything. been impeccable. So these, thing. these are, you see this candle? Oh, these candles? Are, Ooh. These are let me some candles. These are smoke odor candles for mm. after you smoke to diffuse the weed smoke. Mm. I love these candles. Bro, do you want to smell the other one? Because mm. I love these. These must go in the suitcase. Right. right. Oh. Wait, so we got you some Power. air fresheners. Ooh. We got you some this is nice. car mm. fresheners. Oh, lovely. Some smoke odor. Oh, perfect. For the room. Yeah. I love That's when the I gifts. Need. Actually, I'm, shaking it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done. Oh man, yeah, bro, we got Bless. you. My house is filled up with shit like this. I love it. Even though Kush is my cologne, you feel me? Uh, uh celebrity crush. Oh man, I used to have one. Who was your older, your prior? Oh uh, man, let's not get into that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just I'm dead. avoiding this question as much as possible. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite song at the moment? Mm. It's the one by Jeremiah right now. My Ooh, uh, right now. Oh, the one that's on the radio? Yeah. This is I love it. Changes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love oh, that I, song. Every time I hear it, I'm like, this is what I'm going through. Bro, that's <laughs> Yo, that'd be oh, real. Sweet. Yeah, I love it. I love that it. Is so, it happened, too, over the holidays, too, that I was like, Ugh. Feel you, but he yeah, his tune, voice tune, just be tune. like, yo, facts. Uh, best encounter with a fan. Pardon me. Best encounter with a fan. 
best encounter with a fan. Oh, I heard best in Canada with a fan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got this couple in Chicago that stood outside of the cold for like hours. I remember it was like co- so cold. I I was oh not. My I couldn't God. believe it. And it was like outside for like what, bro? Oh, damn, no, I wasn't there. Oh, it was like like six hours or something like that yeah. in the cold. No one else is there. I was like, no, nah, you guys are amazing. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Damn. Yeah. I hate being cold, bro. Yeah. Ideal date night. Ideal date night. Uh, it could go a lot of ways, man. <laughs> it could go a lot of ways. It's either you want to go eat out or eat in. You yeah. know what I mean? It just depends. Yeah, a lot of ways. But, um, I mean, I like to go do fun stuff, so love to include food but mm-hmm. also do something fun after mm. you know so it depends on the girl what they like and the kind of person that they are yeah i'll you know see to a fit you got a type mm. a little bit <laughs> i wouldn't say like super tight but yeah you, know. you gotta make a song and just let us know your type thank you yeah you're welcome <laughs> favorite sex position oh man <laughs> i would say baka still but I like I'd be like a missionary a lot. Damn, like, a lot so of people. There's so many different ways you can hit it. That's literally yeah, what Ricky so Williams I said. Like, you know Ricky Williams, the football nah. player. Oh, Ricky Williams. Yeah. He said that? Oh, shout out Ricky Williams, man. He I want to meet him, bro. Yeah, man. He's fire, man. He's so fire. Williams, the yeah. kid. You see, he's thirty for thirty. No, I need oh, to see. Oh wow, it. shit, fire! I saw it recently. It was fire. Nah, I need but to yeah, see he it. was like, he was on my show and he was like, creative missionary. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell is creating a missionary? That's what it sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, real quick, just to yeah. give him his flowers. This motherfucker went from being the best running back to going to India to teach to learn how to teach people yoga. Like, no, that was amazing. I, it, it, it's, it's so amazing. It's like, yo. Not for real. For Thank real. you. Yeah. Big up yeah. Cause I remember. Okay. No. Sorry, Slim. She said, "Big up Ricky." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Uh, next question. Uh, yeah, last yeah. question. First word that comes to mind. Roy Woods. Uh, I say great. Mm. great. Wait. Last. Last. Yeah, that's it. I have a gift for you. This is from oh, Al Capone. Okay. So these are your premium All leaf right. wraps. I think I might have given you some. Oh, sure. I might yes, have. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes, There's yes, a. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wait. Oh, I right got here. you. I got oh. you. Yeah. Yeah. These damn boxes. Yeah. Yeah, I remember these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's some these. cigars in there in case y'all like cigars. Um, bef- I'm going home with the smoke pack of this fucking year. Yeah. This is crazy. We got we to gotta <laughs> make sure your L.A. trips are lit. Bro, you feel me? Yeah, that's a fact. You feel me? He said, y'all going to make sure you come back, boy. Yeah. <laughs> nah, that's a fact. Facts. <laughs> Wait, Black China. Oh, I, I ran into her at the Grammy red carpet yesterday. Oh, and yeah. She said she wanted to come back on Shirley's Temple. I was oh, like. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's my cue. Big cue. Okay. Cue. So, uh, is there anything you want to plug before we wrap? Don't love me, it's out. You already know. I'm coming back. Mixed emotions coming just now, right after you dig. Hey. Um, Shirley, I appreciate you. I appreciate me. you. Thank you so much. You already know. And then, love. oh, love, love, love. It's your boy Roy Woods over your sign. And I'm live on Shirley's Temple with my girl Shirley right hey, here. You already know. We Locked lit. in. Yeah.